Rob, how are you going to survive the food? I know you. Oh, you know, you... I am going to eat all of it before well, it eats me. Before you say that, let's just find out what they think. Oh, Christ, I hope I've got the answer <laughs> right. Sorry, I'm in a really silly mood right now. We would advise you not to eat too much or just skip the roast potatoes and chocolate pudding and spend the week between Christmas and New Year eating nothing but organic buckwheat. But what's the point? You will overindulge at Christmas. The trick is to overindulge the smarter way. Yeah, defo. On average, people gain between four and six pounds during the four weeks over the festive period because they are unaware of what they can and can't eat. <laughs> Says <laughs> nutri- nutrition consultant Kate. <laughs> Kate, you're an idiot. <laughs> I think I am going to overindulge the smarter way. I am going to overindulge while doing a puzzle a book. <laughs> I, I think the, that will be fine. I don't want to live in a in a world where her laws on what you can and can't eat dictate Christmas in this way. No, not me. It's Christmas. I've got the whole year to worry about my 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 pristine figure. Yeah, exactly. Why does she think that she is the queen of food, especially at Christmas? I bet she's a right big lardo. Oh, I bet she is made of fat. Anyway, here's what she says: If you avoid fatty foods, you'll be fine, right? Wrong, says the fat chubber. Oh. It's carbohydrate that puts on most of the weight. The overindulgence on mince pies, crisps, cakes, and biscuits. Maybe in your world, flubber. <laughs> Remember, she adds, that you eat what you buy. <laughs> if yep. you don't want to stuff yourself full of fattening treats, don't buy too many of them. Steal them. Some festive treats are nutritionally spot on. Kate recommends snacking on bowls of Brazil nuts, walnut, and almonds, and figs, and dates. Is she a hamster? <laughs> Get plenty of protein from meat, like turkey, cool. fish, eggs, and nuts, and seeds. It will help to fill you up and keep your blood sugar stable, which should ward off those unhealthy cravings. <laughs> My gosh, he's a barrel of laugh. Remember the golden rules of eating out, too. Choose tomato-based curries and pasta dishes over creamy ones. Have boiled rice rather than fried, and chapatis rather than naan. Oh, that is the golden rule of eating out, yeah. <laughs> At an Indian, maybe. Max out on vegetable side dishes or toppings so you fill up on the co- on the good stuff. Where, where has she got those golden rules of eating out from? Because mine's usually tip the way, uh, um, don't throw food at them. Right, I want, I want to see what she looks like, the chubber. <laughs> Kate. <laughs> You're going to really fancy her now. I hope she's not one of these. <laughs> Nutrition.co.uk probably is her. Yeah, that, I would imagine so. Oh gosh, she's in East Sussex. About Kate, that's better of a picture of her on. God, she looks <laughs> stroppy. She could do with an advent calendar in she her looks, life. She looks really glum. Grumpy mare. Yeah, she does look, She does actually look like a grumpy mare, in all truthness. I thought it was going to be somebody who at least was smiling, but no. Nah. You can see the, the loss of uh, good food in her yeah, life. You can tell that she is built of fury. And tell me what the ironic bit is. What? Not only is she clearly not enjoying her diet, but I bet that if we were to cut her up and fry her, she would still be dead unhealthy. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I bet I would get dead fat if I ate her from head to toe. And I'm a vegetarian, but I'd make an exception yeah. just to prove a point. <laughs>